Today we're going to be doing a 100 mile review and comparison between the Brooks Adrenaline GTS 20 and the Mizuno Wave Horizon 4. Let's get into it. What's up everybody, John here with Motivation Theory Running and I am super excited to talk about these shoes with you today. I've been running in both of these shoes. They have been my everyday trainer for quite a while now and I love both of these shoes. So I'm super excited to kind of share with you my thoughts and feelings uh, on the benefits and some of the things that maybe I don't like so much in both of these shoes. Just before we get started, I wanna let you know that I do have a 125 miles in the Mizuno Wave Horizon 4 and I have 105 miles in the Brooks Adrenaline GTS 20. That's a good amount of mileage to compare, to, to give them both a fair comparison. Um, I have been running the same exact workouts in both of these shoes uh, identically. Um, if you check Strava, you can go and check to see what shoes I wear on what workouts and what runs. And these have been, these have been the workhorses the entire time. Before we get started, I wanna let you know that I've done a review on both of these shoes. I will link them down, full tech reviews, by the way, down in the description, down in the comments, and at the end of this video. So when you're done with this video, you can go click those videos and look at the in-depth tech review. So both of these shoes starting off, $160 for the Mizuno Wave Horizon 4 and $130 for the Brooks GTS Adrenaline 20. Both, both expensive for buying running shoes, but I think you get the quality and durability in both of these shoes. So starting off, let's go ahead and look at the bottoms of these shoes. You can look at these, look at these things. You can't tell that they have 100 miles on them. Look at that. You can see a little bit of wear and tear in some of the foam, the X-Pop and the DNA Loft, and the X-Pop on the Mizuno, uh, the Horizon 4, and you can look at the DNA Loft foam here. Uh, you can see a little bit of scuffing, all road miles and stuff like that, but you look at that, there's no wear on the heels at all. I mean, look at that. Over 100 miles on both these shoes and the outsole is perfect. I mean, you look at, Look at the edge of there, no crushing out there, which you'd expect. You should be getting a lot of mileage out of this. And as you know, the Wave uh, plate is no longer in the Wave Horizon 4. They removed it, and now they're using this, this Wave foam. And it's done a really, really good job. It's done a really good job. You know, I love the Inspire 16, the entire Mizuno Inspire series. I love the Wave plate. And I don't miss it in this. I don't miss it in this, this shoe. So. The durability has been outstanding in these. Uh, you can tell the uppers have held on really well. There's no ripping, no tearing, nothing going on in either one of these. You can see I mean, both these shoes have held up really well. So durability for both the shoes, I give them both on a scale one to five. I give them both a five so far. After 100 miles, both of these shoes are phenomenal, phenomenal. Outsole, upper, the eyelets, <laughs> I mean the overlays, both minimalistic in these shoes. Everything is held on really, really well. Moving on to kind of foot feel. Uh, let me break this down a little bit. The Mizuno Wave Horizon 4 uh, is fits more like a glove. I don't mean in a tight way. It fits my foot a lot better. It feels more at one with my foot than the GTS 20, um, it has a lot better foot feel, the, the, the connection to the ground when you're running. I don't know what it is. If you look at the, the pattern here, this does not feel as grippy on the road as this. When this is when there's wet wetness on the ground the, and, and kind of gravelly uh, sand and stuff, this is a little slippery. This bad boy grips the ground. Whatever they've done to this pattern, it, it works really, really well on the roads. This feels like I have gloves on my feet and it just grips the ground. It's like wearing a nice pair of trail shoes that's gripping the ground when you're running. You get that feeling in this shoe. The wave plate not being in it is no matter to me. I don't feel uh, any difference. The, the support is super good. Um, it feels a lot more cushiony than the Inspire. It's a lot more of a plush ride and I think it's meant to be. That's why the price point is a little bit higher. The, the Brooks Adrenaline GTS 20 feels more like a stable platform than this. This feels more like a neutral shoe uh, with support. 
This feels more, uh, you can really feel the stack height in it. Uh, this is obviously, this is a 10 millimeter heel drop. This is a 12 millimeter. So you, you are tilted up a little bit more in the shoe. But when you look at the inside of the shoe, uh, they use guide rails in this. So they have guide rails on both sides. So this shoe is really built, the GTS 20 is really built for folks that supinate and pronate. So it gives you the stability if you need it, but it doesn't push your foot either way. And that's really, really good. I love this shoe. The upper, really, really airy. So when it comes to foot feel and, and, and kind of connection to the ground, I'm going to give the edge to the Mizuno Wave Horizon 4. It just, it just has a better foot feel, a uh, better connection to the ground. Um, it's not far off. On a scale of 1 to 5, I would give that, uh, the, the Mizuno, the 5, and I would probably give the uh, Brooks Adrenaline 20, probably like a three in foot feel and connection to the ground. There's nothing special about it. This was special to me. This was special. The shoe is really uh, a surprising uh, change for me moving in, moving from the Inspire series. So from an airy kind of uh, dealing with moisture, I'm gonna give the edge to the GTS 20. You have a lot more room in the forefoot. And when I did the initial review, the forefoot seems, they do say that it seems like it's its bigger. There is more room in this forefoot. I can feel it in my foot. I wear an 11 and a half, so I have a big big foot. I don't have a super wide foot, but you feel like you have more room in the, the, the toe box of this shoe. The toe box is very airy feeling when I'm running, and I've been running in a lot of heat. I can actually feel the air on my feet, which is comforting when you're running 90 something uh, degrees and you know over 50% humidity. I feel like that the Brooks Adrenaline GTS 20 would handle the moisture and, and getting hot feet in the, in, in, the, in the hot temperatures out right now. I think it handles it a lot better than this one. So on a scale of one to five, I'd probably give the GTS 20 the five on that. And I would give the Mizuno Wave Horizon probably a three on that. Now, Neither one of these shoes is super responsive. They're not meant for speed, um, but I would probably run in these, uh, and I have run. I've run in, I've run marathons and ultra marathons in the Inspire series. So I would probably wear these uh, for longer races, half marathons, marathons, um, maybe in ultras, uh, just depending on uh, well, how I'm feeling that day. I know people will probably say, well, that's not what the shoe was meant for, but these are meant for long runs. They're meant for easy day runs. Uh, they are workhorses. They put a lot of, uh, you're supposed to be able to put a lot of miles on them. So overall, I'm probably going to give the Mizuno Wave Horizon for the edge overall as a stability shoe. Uh, if you are not a strong pronator um, or supinator, this shoe would probably do really well. If you want to try a shoe that is a stability shoe that is more like a, a a neutral shoe i would probably try the mizuno wave horizon 4. this shoe really surprised me i like where mizuno is going with these i like the tech i like the innovation and in removing the wave plate and dealing it with these this foam wave uh, and dealing with the series of shapes instead of the, the hard plates i like the guide rail system i like the guide rail system of this this is a lot more platformy it's not as cushiony as cushiony that's the word, right? <laughs> it's not as much of a cushion feel in these, but they're super comfortable. Now, if I were to compare this to the Inspire 16, that's probably more of a fair comparison. This is a lot more plush shoe. I think the uh, it's almost not fair to compare the two, but uh, as I'm the shoes that I've been wearing a lot of, I'm going to compare these two because they both are touted as stability shoes. The price point is different. Um, both of these companies have made stability shoes for a very long time, for 20 years. I mean, the Brooks Adrenaline GTS 20 is the go-to shoe for Brooks. I mean, this is something that doctors have prescribed for stability for two decades. Uh, but if you're looking for some changes and you've, you've stayed away from Mizuno because you didn't like the wave plate and you just didn't want the big giant stability shoe, and you're not a super big fan of the Inspire series, I would check out the Horizon 4. The shoe, 10 millimeter heel drop, super cushiony. It's got the X-Pop foam, that new X-Pop foam that they're incorporating. They still got the Euphoric and Euphoric X foam. They still got the DNA Loft 
and the uh, Biomogo foams and the the Brooks Adrenaline GTS 20. So if you really want to try the Wave Horizon 4, you want to get into a Mizuno shoe without the Wave plate, I would definitely try this shoe. Uh, both shoes are phenomenal. So if you're looking for a stability shoe, you're looking for an everyday trainer, you're looking for a shoe that's going to be super durable and give you your money's worth, both of these shoes will do that. Both of these shoes will do that. All right, so for the full tech reviews, I'm going to send you to the Brooks Adrenaline GTS 20 right there. Go ahead and click that one. And if you're interested in the Mizuno Wave Horizon 4, go ahead and click that video right there. And I will see you in the next video. If you like this one, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. I will see you in the next video. Go ahead and click one right now.